Welcome to Thief Berlin, where I'm with Aptera this fine evening. Uh, first of all, guys, could you tell me a little about Aptera? Who and what is Aptera exactly? <laughs> so I think you're gonna start. <laughs> Explain the name. So, um, I found the name like one years ago. And uh, because I'm uh, really interested about uh, the Greek mythology and I uh, found after uh, and the meaning is uh, simply the story is um, Athena was really upset about uh, Zeus because he was with uh, being too much with the muses and she decided to make a contest uh, between the muses and the mermaids but at that time the mermaids were with wings and they were not just on, under the sea and uh, yeah they make this uh, singing contest and they lost the contest unfortunately and they lost the feathers from their wings and uh, after I explaining losing the feathers and they were down under the sea. Okay, is that what's in your album cover also? Something? Yeah, I mean, it's a mermaid representing the after. Okay, and what kind of music do you play? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Um, we're kind of like a popogi from uh, different styles. Um, I guess uh, slowly we are, you know, like finding our way, but we are not really worried about a style itself because it started off as a project which we could just do whatever we want and everything is co written and everything is like is done like in a very, um, you know, like in a uh, cooperative way, I would say. Uh, we have, of course, uh, influences of uh, Black Sabbath and, you know, like um, the things we grew up uh, listening to. And like people ask if we are doom, if we are stoner, if we are metal, and if we are like progressive. I, I think we, are, we can agree with we kind of a little bit of those. Um, it's funny, like uh, in every time they announce us <laughs> what they write underneath, yeah. um, I think people have uh, different opinions of the sound we do. Um, I don't know, I would say more progressive, progressive metal doom, sounded. <laughs> yeah, every metal band has to have their own genre, basically. <laughs> so, what would be yours? <laughs> You want to take this one? <laughs> yeah, I think you it sums it up with like classic metal and doom in a mixture. Someone said they heard some influences of death metal in their music. So death metal. There's lots of different things. Yeah, I mean, sure, mm -hmm. there's definitely some progressive riffs. There's some. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like classic metal is one of the things that comes to mind soonest. Oh, totally. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's so, so. <laughs> it's so. Maybe you don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree <laughs> with everything. Someone also said punk. Yeah, a little bit of punk in there. Yeah, I mean, I'm coming from a punk background. Yeah, I guess maybe people can can hear that from from our background. I guess we almost all of us had other bands before, and we had I guess a hardcore background. Yeah, exactly. So. Celia and I played in punk bands and hardcore bands, so maybe somewhere people can also find that somewhere in our songs. Okay, yeah, uh, Berlin, well, truly is like a modern day melting pot here. So, how did you guys come together as a band? Uh, that is uh, <laughs> that is was a very good question. question. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, should I tell the story from yeah. the beginning? Yeah. 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 So, <clears throat> well, I guess that um, Celia, Renata, and I, um, we already knew each other. I guess we have been knowing each other since a few years. We have uh, friends in common, I guess everyone into, um, yeah, into the music scene in Berlin, mm -hmm. probably mostly punk. And um, then I guess one day Renata sent me a message 
and um, she got to know I was also playing the guitar and she was saying why I'm looking to start a new band maybe we could play together and I said yeah why not maybe we should just meet and talk and um, then we met at a concert yes at uh, can we say Cadaver. at Cadaver concert also a, a Berlin based band and then we were talking about which kind of music we could play in our band and I think Renata was saying well I know you like punk and I said why don't we do something more like that yeah, and, stoner, uh, yeah exactly and um, yeah and then we met and talked about it and then we we thought about asking Celia to play bass and then we started like doing some jam sessions the three of us we couldn't really find a drummer like uh, at the beginning we were in touch with uh, some people but for some reasons it didn't like uh, it never worked like they were too busy or just maybe I don't know they didn't show up and then in the rehearsal room where we are still actually playing it's a collective space um, yeah literally one Sunday afternoon uh, Sarah knocks at the door and she asks don't you guys have a drummer and we say well no we we were waiting for one but just <laughs> never came and she was like well maybe i can try of course and she she, she just sat down there and, and starts yeah. playing and, and starts playing i literally mm -hmm. cried then. yeah i think we, we made like a jump for 15 minutes something like this like yes it was Crazy. insane I was like, I even, did I even ask if you need a drummer? I just came in and sound the drums, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I guess you can. No, I think you said, do you? What do you guys are doing there? I like, I like that. Where, where, who are you? Is and then she just bring uh, everything there, and then she start to play over what we were doing, and in the end of this practice, we had a drum. That yeah, pretty much <laughs> sums it up, and was like, uh, I don't know, it was really magical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> super cool. Yeah, nice. Uh, if I'm correct, the band is now what about a year old, more or less. Okay. Okay. So, how is it for new bands at the moment here in Berlin? Um, I don't know actually <laughs> because uh, I mean, with today we are uh, play our Mike. seven show i think i guess yeah <coughs> and uh, i think we are pretty into it we are practicing like one day per week and yeah i mean we are quite new we're working really a lot uh, on our songs trying to compose new stuff and to get to a direction i think in a way because we have really different influences and yeah I don't know. <laughs> like our first shows were also at like house projects and squad spaces that were very open to having a new band trying to yeah. shit out so it was like I think they really had a lot of opportunities for new bands to play to play out without too much. Yeah and I have to say that I think we've played only two times in the same place now. We always placed, played uh, in different places. Yeah, we played right here where we stand. <laughs> yeah. That was a good yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we mentioned already your like debut EP. So what are your thoughts on that recording? And you also mentioned working on new material. So uh, is that gonna be like completely different or just taking a new direction from what's already out? Uh, from, in my opinion I think it's gonna follow what we we are doing already now. Um, maybe with a little bit more of experience and because now we know a bit better each other and what we like and what we don't like and yeah I think now already we are starting some new composition and we are really, everyone is putting something in the composition. Like we are really working together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess this is something that um, 
we have in almost every song. I guess that everyone has, you know, <clears throat> a riff that will go into that song. I think this is a mm -hmm. like something riff. exactly like. like riff. Uh, I think uh, in every song there is really like um, a part of one of us, and uh, I guess this is something that we have in almost every song we did before and that we are working on right now. Yeah, and I hope that uh, at for the end of the year we're gonna release our really first album and that's gonna be really something concrete and mature mm. mature <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh, how far along is the album then like do you have ready songs already or yeah. like uh mm -hmm. i have already a few songs i think about three songs probably that we're gonna record um but i yeah we, we still have to think about how many songs we're gonna record for the album. We also don't wanna put pressure, I guess, on, on that, on the creative process. So I guess mm -hmm. when time will, time will come, we will understand when it's the right time to, to record what we have. Okay, how is the creative process for you guys then, if it has like parts of, from your own? Uh, well, I guess that as we said before, well, usually like, one of us comes with a riff, uh, with a guitar, or bass, strings, and then uh, we take it from there. Um, but then, as we said before, I guess that really um, everyone in the band brings like um, something to a song. And uh, also our drummer, Sarah, also plays uh, the guitar, actually. And so I think a cool thing of our band is that uh, the drummer also proposes uh, riffs sometimes, so we really like the four of us are like really involved in the creative process. And I guess that vocals usually come after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we first. <laughs> yeah, still working um, on it. <laughs> I mean, we actually in the first months of our um, rehearsals, we we didn't even have vocals. It was really one hundred percent instrumental this really came kind of spontaneously with time um, so after a while and I guess it's still like that like when we have basically a full song then um, Celia and I come up with some ideas about the vocals and yeah, yeah and I think also we are working a lot uh, with uh, Jan. I yeah. think that is one of our strong points it's jamming together and then from there to create something with that. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, in addition to the upcoming album and, you know, playing a lot of gigs, so is there a grand plan for Aptera? Like where you want to be in a couple of years or? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we are going on tour in, in April. End of the um, And yeah, we're going to play um, mostly in Germany and we also have um, a show in Belgium at a festival. Yeah, next, next to my hometown actually. So I'm really happy to, to get back there because I'm like now seven years in Berlin and I was playing like for seven years in another band in Belgium and for me it was really important if I can show my new band um, to Belgium. So I guess this is at the moment the, the upcoming project that we have. Like we are booking the last shows for the tour and then yeah, it would be like um, five, six shows in one week. I mean, we want to do more touring that's of gonna course. reach more than just like yeah, a, a small audience course. that we can attract. So hopefully it's larger actors take us on a support at some point and then, you know, the natural evolution from there, I guess. Yeah, I think was when we're gonna have like our, our first album, we're gonna for sure plan a way to work for next year, probably. Okay, uh, you are actually playing here in Thief in what, a couple minutes, so... <laughs> So uh, with your like your own blend or mixture of metal, so what kind of live band are you? I guess we're kind of um, really upbeat. I mean, I would say, <laughs> you know, I mean for a metal band because we will always have like this um, this idea of oh my metal band that's gonna be like just 
sad faces and stuff. <laughs> but I guess we we can move the, the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Believe. Well, like our sound sound is definitely dark, I guess. But I like that. Yeah, I think our songs are not depressive at all. <laughs> Even though the atmosphere is uh, very dark, I think I don't know. Um, Heavy yeah. dark. <laughs> <laughs> Great though. I mean, we we make some we make some ugly faces. At least I do. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, it's important but to know. Uh, this comes with the instruments. I mean, We're not uh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, concentration. I mean, we cannot look. Um. Okay, we'll see in a couple of minutes. So, <laughs> thank you very much, thank and uh, break a leg. <laughs> You. Maybe that was Thank a funny you. place to end. I was just like, when you said upbeat, I was kind of like, I don't want people to imagine us smiling on stage. So I was like, if I didn't know how else I mean, to say it, so I was just like, we make ugly us. faces. No, we are sad and depressive. <laughs> no, no, no.